Hi, in this video I'm going to be field testing a kayak outfitted with two trolling motors each independently controlled with a wireless speed controller. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is my kayak dock that I've modified so I can test trolling motors on it. So the test today is going to be this Minn Kota 12 volt 30 pound thrust trolling motor that I modified with a wireless controlled Hobbywing ESC mounted inside the head unit of the trolling motor. And I'm going to be measuring the DC amps and calling them out using this meter right here. And of course this is my wireless remote. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, we're about 10 amps right now. 20 amps. 25 amps. And I'm maxed out at 29.5 amps in the forward position, so I'm going to go ahead and go to reverse. Okay, starting in reverse. Ten amps, twenty amps, twenty five and a half amps, maxed out in the reverse direction. So that's it. This works very nice. This is the mount I'm going to be using in this test. It's set up to run two trolling motors. And I just had some scraps left over of 2x4 lumber, 4 L-shaped brackets, some 1 quarter by 20 bolts, and it's attached to the rear section tracks of the kayak with some homemade track mounts. This is the test I'm going to be running with dual Minn Kota 12 volt 30 pound thrust trolling motors that have been converted over to ESC controls. Now each one is controlled separately by the wireless controller. So I'm not an RC guy, but this should basically control itself kind of like a tank. So let's go ahead and try it.
So the test was successful. Both the trolling motors worked well as thrusters, but what I also found out doing this is that they will also steer if you just use directional steering in forward or reverse and then just throttle down on either side. So you could actually use a rudder with this type of setup. But is it practical? No. Even though we got one more mile per hour of speed to five miles an hour, uh, no, I don't think it's worth putting two of them on for all the work involved with it, but it was a lot of fun, so this was definitely a great project to do. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.